All right, here's quiz 4.2. Once again, I'm going quick, so it doesn't take you too long. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Okay, there's a frog in the way. That's, excuse me, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Okay, we don't need any frogs. Okay, let's do this quiz. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, we got a little circle here, and I got a point. We'll zoom in on that piece right there. Find the six trigonometric functions, trigonometric functions. Here's all the little guys, if you forget them. So here's the point. Um, well, if this is 4.5, this side must be four fifths, four over five. This side must be over four over five. And it's up three over five. So this side must be three over five. But how long is this? I'll do a little Pythagorean theorem. X squared, Y squared, four fifths squared, three fifths squared. Hmm, don't worry, not that squared. Four, not that scary, four squared, 16 over 25. 9 over 25. 16 plus 9. Oh, how perfect. 25 over 25. Or 1. The side is 1. Oh, yeah. A 3, 4, 5 kind of thing. Okay, so sine, the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's just 3 fifths. In fact, remember sine is the opposite? Oh, yeah. You know what? Sine is just y, isn't it? Hmm. Cosine. Cover this guy up. The adjacent over hypotenuse. Oh. Well, yeah, that's right. Cosine is just the x right here. 4 over 5. And the tangent, well, that's this one over this one. Sine over cosine. Tangent, sine over cosine. So put this one over that. And if I put a little scratch paper, put some scratch paper. If we put 3 fifths over 4 fifths, well, let's see, I could bring that up, make it a times, flip it over. Just take a little fraction with more. These cancel. Three fourths. Okay, so three over four. Three over four. And these guys, these are just these guys upside down. So we'll put five over three. Secant is cosine upside down. Five over four. Cotangent is tangent upside down. Four over three. There we go. Next one. If sine and cosine are both negative, what quadrant are you in? Let's see. These are both positive. Remember, sine is just y, cosine is just x. These are both positive. Down here, and we also got over here, and we got over here. Let's see. This is positive, so this is the x, positive but down. Over here, negative and positive, negative and up. And over here, we're both negative, over and down. If they're both negative, over here, we must be in quadrant. One, two, three. We are in quadrant three. A little reminder, they're also in here. They're just your x's and your y's, like back and down, negative, negative. There they are. Uh, if this point's on a unit circle, what is the cosine? Hmm, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I remember. Cosine is just x, okay, because we can use this little guy. Cosine is always the Cover that up. The adjacent, which is x. Mm -hmm. So this is x. This is y. So this is the cosine. There's nothing to solve. The sine is the y, 15 over 17. The tangent, oh, once again, we put sine over cosine. So we're going to put 15 17 over negative 8 over 17. 17's cancel, negative 15 over, wait, you know what? Did I do that backwards? No, I got it. negative 15 over eight. Okay, yeah, let's circle that guy. And the next one, which one of these is not equal to one? Hmm, I got a variety of ones to pick from. I'm not sure what's going here. Let's go to this one, sine squared plus cosine squared. Oh yeah. That's a Pythagorean theorem. Because that's just like y squared, x squared. Let's see my guy in a little bit. Sine squared, cosine squared is one. Yep. That's one. Secant squared minus tangent. That's right here. You can move the tangent over and go secant, take away tangent, would leave you with one. So this is one. It's not that. It's not that. Sine of pi over two. Sine of pi over two, let's see, there's a circle. Pi over two, pi over two is 90. In fact, why don't I just look right here? Pi over two is 90. The sine, 
The sine is the y. The sine is the height. What's the height here? Up, 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 up. There it is, one. I can even look over here. Pi over two, the sine is one. That's one. I guess it must be A. I don't know what this is. Why would I pick this? I could say, wait, tangent sine over cosine 4.5. And this is sine, but that doesn't get me anywhere. Nothing cancels, so this one is not one. Lastly, if the sine is radical three over two and you're in quadrant two, what's cosine? Mm, let's just grab this. Okay, if the sine is radical three over two, the sine is the y. Okay. Sine is the y. So let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Right here. Here it is. Radical 3 over 2. Radical 3 over 2. I'm in mean, quadrant 2. Don't look at this one. That's quadrant 1. Quadrant 2. The cosine is, well, if this is a sine, there's the cosine. Negative 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 2. And that's quiz number 2. That's the one you guys did but you never got it back because we disappeared. Okay, get ready for the next one.